This is Kona. We're here on Xbox Series X. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. It's northern Canada, 1970. A strange blizzard ravages Sata Bia Lake. Step into the shoes of a detective to explore the eerie village, investigate some real events, and battle the elements to survive. The first installment in a series of four games. Huh. I played the second one, I didn't know there was specifically four already planned. That is actually rather interesting. Look at me driving myself. Yeah. I guess in October 1970. W. Hamilton, a rich industrialist who owns a hunting manor in northern Canada, great place to do that, reports several cases of vandalism <gasps> against his property. Unable to find out what happened, Hamilton calls Carl Faubert, a renowned private detective, to handle the affair. Must shed a light on the mysterious events befalling the area. It is your job. So what are you getting here? It's a 4K resolution, 60 FPS. And I don't know if it shows it in this specific options, but you can adjust the FOV if you would like to, which is your field of view. Should we really just leave this running like this? What if we run out of gas? So anyways, these... It's, it's kind of like, well, I've, I've played the follow-up, so what you do is you kind of go in and it's this like first-person exploration kind of experience where you're interacting with the narrative, and then you're also essentially trying to survive, as I've kind of mentioned. And it's, it's very Canadian, very, very Canadian indeed in terms of setting, which makes this uh, a pretty unique experience. Oh, wow. My batteries are dying. But yeah, it's it's kind of cool, at least I think so, in terms of like gameplay concept and design and it's it's kind of intriguing. Like it's it's definitely a little bit of a a different kind of like narrative thing, if that makes sense. And everything is kind of helpful to well not everything I guess, but so a lot of stuff is helpful your experience if that makes sense in terms of like Okay, let's we just put this away. Yeah, thank you. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. So yeah, it's, it's it's definitely to me an interesting kind of game. Sorry, eh? In typical Canadian fashion, Carl left ten dollars for the thing. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a little bit of Canadian style for you right there too. Uh, anyways, do we get back in my car. Yeah, we do. Uh, if you want to go and take a ride with me. So it's, it's kind of neat, like it's a very, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a completely different kind of game, but it blends narrative storytelling, like a focus on narrative storytelling, with survival. Which you would technically have to do if you were stuck in any of these story situations, it's just most stories tend to skip that because it's not necessarily a focus to like what's going on here. Are we speeding? Anyways, it's it's kind of intriguing because it, it builds up like from this calm kind of mystery and then you're sort of up there against the elements and that. And then the follow-up as well is just as, I guess you would say bizarrely intriguing in terms of like, you know, what's going on and what you're seeing. And it's, it's kind of a neat game and it, it does look a lot clearer here because this is actually like a optimized like current gen version of the uh, the game that did release whoa well that's gonna cause a possible concussion do we exchange our you know insurance See, that's what you get for driving so fast outside honestly you know what wait we were knocked out for hours Oh, and there's a lot of like self narration stuff going on too. Uh, anyways, y yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, the way they do the storytelling and stuff is just kind of intriguing. And I don't know what I was gonna get to, but uh, when you when you're in Canada, Kona, when you're in Canada and you're like out 
on the uh, like the the country. I don't know how to describe it. Like the very open like country roads and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's very common to uh, to speed. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I'm not saying necessarily that uh, that's something I do at all, but it is a very 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 common thing that people do that. Chevrolet. At least I have a fire starter in there. His life depended on it. I don't have any chains for my car. Wait, what am I supposed Otto, to do? Ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigation. Okay, so I'm like dying. Should I start like a fire in my car? Like it says I can lay chains. I need to heal my wounds. Do I have any items? Let's see. I've got a book with biographies. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. I got a map. Okay, equipment, journal, map, inventory, equipment. Flashlight, journal, okay. Consumables. Locked iron box. The key is required. Well that's just useless. Inventory. Fire starter. Okay. Matches, empty bottle. Okay. Well actually wait, wait, wait. Is this med stuff? No, it's a fire starter. None of this will help me at all. I'm going to die. Good thing there's a house here. I, you can still kind of sit in your... You know, car and it would be... Well, it would be really warm if it couldn't start, but like, you know. Even better than he had hoped. Carl Faubert had succeeded once more. And well, was you know, you're not a great detective if you don't. Like a mattress? I guess we could kind of like sit in the chair here and kind of warm up. I didn't start the fire. Because it was burning before I was a dirt. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I can't start the fire because I don't have a log. Where do where can I get a log from outside? But it's cold out. One log. Can I take two logs? Yeah, good. So let's close that door. I, I don't want to let any of the cold in. Ah, refreshing. See, it's good for your mental health to have fire when you're in the middle of the cold. That's a lesson for you out there. Kona. Like a sign building thing? Can I go to sleep? Okay, well I'm not dead yet, so that's great. What's the next part of my objective? Should I go back to my vehicle? I definitely didn't treat my wounds or anything, but... At least I'm not dying. I'm kind of toasty and warm, and I got chains for the bottom of the vehicle to put on, so we'll just go up here and see what we can find. If anything, it should actually be colder up here. We're at the top of a building. I guess a flashlight really isn't going to do a whole lot for me. Actually, be pretty smart just to kind of sleep the storm away, wouldn't it? Or just to hang out in the warm building, but I guess we are a determined detective doing our job. Do I have any other chains? No. I don't have two chains. I've only got one chain. I need to heal my wounds and, my wounds and warm up my body. Okay, but I was already in the shack. I don't have anything for wound healing, do I? I can start a fire out here. Yeah, I don't see any, like, healing stuff. <gasps> First aid! Oh, that's rations. Okay. Which actually would be pretty helpful. Well, how do I heal myself? Let's, let's figure this out. Inventory. Log. Polaroid film. Matches. Empty bottle. Incher. Fire start. Documents. Map. Map. Zoom in on map. Where am I? 
I'm at the cabin. Okay, well I'm warm, but I don't have anything that will... Consumables. Cigarettes. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette. But... Okay, well we just had a cigarette that actually lowered my health. <laughs> I have a little bit of hilarity in there. Isabel photo. Okay. So I've got a log, Polaroid film, matches, an empty bottle, a pinch, a pincer, and a fire starter. It's his own personal breathing assistant. And there's no health anywhere at all for me to use. Okay, well, this doesn't make any logical sense. I'm going to die tragically. Okay. Complaining was not in Carl's nature. It would take more than light injuries to interrupt his investigation. More than light injuries, okay. But how do I patch myself up? I doth not have sort of medical equipment. Does lighting this help at all? Does that do anything? Does this, like, melt anything for me? Okay. I'm gonna take a log for the road. Like a melting nature. I wonder if the car that we ran into in the trunk or something, there might be some kind of consumables. And warm up his body. I feel like this is just gonna get me killed. Oh! What are the odds? The first aid kit, right? How did I. Okay, well, how do I switch over to. Oh, it's probably consumables, right? Bam, full health. Let's roll. Seriously though, how did I overlook that? I wonder where that person went. I also can't believe we were knocked out for that long. Did we take like a nap? I also advise to not drive fast in the snow because your vehicle like slides and also it's hard for visibility. I've been in some pretty dangerous snowstorms over my days. Like, sometimes you're just, like, sort of hoping for the best. Like, honestly, I've driven in stuff that looks like this. It's ridiculous. But it's part of being in Canada. You know what I mean? Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, mm. everlasting snow... I like the narration the style and everything. Lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, mm. and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. So there's like lots of houses here we could stop by and like, you know, kind of get some help from people. Without a delve in the closest man in the village to William Hamilton, otherwise known as Uncle Willie. Mm. The truck was running on fumes, but saying that the general store was close by. Will anybody be alive at the general store? Fill her up. Maybe there's a reason this was like. The monks wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. Yeah, there's a reason the area was like blocked off. Of course it did. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Oh, <gasps> he's dead. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Hmm. Be inside that envelope. Carl was taken up. Well, uh, we gotta open that up, I guess, right? I knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. Uh, documents. The box with the Canadian Secret Service. Okay, well, how do we open it? I guess we don't. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Right?
Mysterious unbranded cans. I mean, I'm not here to work for free, am I right? Wouldn't maybe somebody think that I killed him? This place is a mess. Well, I am a great detective. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Did I put away my camera? I can't turn on the pump. I'm assuming I have to investigate stuff. I don't have any. I don't have the number for this. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Hmm. <laughs> Sherry White, I just don't mind if I do. Someone's got a baby. Canada. Kona. Cola. Explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Maintaining his composure, Carl well, that's not good. something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Hmm. I don't have the keys? Are you kidding me? Well, how am I supposed to get in here without the keys? <sighs> I guess I gotta be a great detective. Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets and he didn't like to miss out whoa what is this I wondered what the hell could that thing be it looked like a man fossilized in ice So creepy. Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams, a cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. To all appearances, this was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. Kona. These engraved numbers mean seven three nine. A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Watch out for wolves. Is this how I get to the cash register in order to open the thing? Gel's wallet. He knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice. How do you get petrified in ice? The general store's manager himself. The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottle. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. What an odd situation this is, eh?
Oh, I, I kind of thought that would open this as 739, no? 